How's it going, YouTubers? Got a Tucson today. This is a TS444, a new release. With a wild looking handle. I don't even know what to call this. It's not rock pattern. I don't know. But this uh, retails for $135 or if you can find a retail price, usually, you know, Tucson sell on eBay at auction, so probably get it for cheaper. This is a uh, not morning design in their brand new steel YJ01 V1. We'll talk more about that in a minute. Let's go over the blade length 3.75 inches, so a little bit bigger than average. Satin finish, flat grind. I'd call this a harpoon clip point. It's got just a slight bit of harpoon tip. Just a slight clip point too. And the steel, YJ01-V1. YJ01 they should have picked something more catchy than that for sure. Uh, very similar to M390. I can't find a whole lot of information on it. But uh, it's made by... Thing he PSF precision spray forming different kind of way of doing steel. I'm I don't know a whole lot about that, so I'm not even gonna pretend like I do. But it's got five percent vanadium instead of four percent like M three ninety twenty CB. It's about the only difference, according to Tucson, that helps with grindability and mirror polishing. Yeah, so it should sharpen easier and polish up better. If I'm reading that right. Yeah, and uh, LTK did test this, and the one he tested hit almost 61, so they're doing all right with it. I don't know how it performs yet, but I will do a cut test. You can count on that. Uh, let's get back into the specs. 3.7 millimeter blade stock or 0.14 inches. An overall length of 8.6 inches. So full size plus. Let's compare it to some other knives. Sativian ST152. Petrified fish stamp. A little bit bigger in both of those, but close. Tucson TS-408. Close. And Tucson TS-229. These are both pretty close, but still not quite there. Last two, CJRB Frack. Again, just a little bit bigger. And Senka Glide Strike, probably my closest example. Still a little bit bigger, but the closest one I have to the exact length. Sorry, didn't have very many 8.6 inch knives apparently. Got a 4.95 inch handle, pretty much 5 inches. 0.50 inches wide, about average. The close width in the pockets 1.35 inches from here to here. T8 on your screws, except for the steel lock bar insert. 4.8 ounces. Um, I guess that's, that's not really too bad for this size. You do have quite a bit of weight relief too. If you can see that. And you do have a titanium clip, a little bit odd out of your normal compared to most titanium milled clips. And uh, Tucson never does the same clip twice, at least 
not very often they do that. But this one ain't my favorite. It's right over the cutout reliefs. It does its job. I have about that much hanging out of the pocket. So yeah. And it is screwed in from the front. It's a long screw. And there's a detent ball. This is a secondary holding method. So no play. I don't think there's any play. Not very much, if any. Um, yeah, it's a frame lock. As you see, I'd like to cut out relief on the inside, but yeah, and as you see, the cool milled titanium handle. Tucson's great about doing stuff like this. There's another Tucson with some nice milling. And, you know, Kunwu does some nice milling too. Love to see that. I'm sure other people will copy this. Let me know if I'm wrong, but I don't think anyone's done this kind yet. It's not rough either. It looks rough, like it would be uncomfortable, but it's not. They've softened the edges down. It's a flipper only. Sadly, you have a hole on the blade, but I can't reverse flick it. If I would have known that when I bought it, I might not have bought it. Because that hole was just screaming reverse flick. But they did, and they didn't have no pictures of it closed on the website that I believe. So, it's kind of tricked. Pretty comfortable in hand though. It'll definitely fit XL size hands. Clip doesn't bother me. You got a little bit of jimping up here for your thumb. I would not call this a finger chill, just a sharpening chill. And you can Sharpen it without getting a smile, looks like. Get a gradual plunge that ends right around there. And you do have a lanyard hole. And a backspacer. This locks on this knife. The just for looks hole kind of makes me angry, but... <laughs> Um, I don't like Two Sons Pivot Collar. We know it's made in China, you ain't gonna tell us. But it didn't stop me from buying it, obviously. And this knife has really tight tolerances. I took it apart. It took me forever to get it apart and back together. Because it was like almost press fit. Like I've never had that much problem taking a knife apart. Like the stop pins and all that were like pressed in. Oh, aggravating. But not in love with the clip either. It's comfortable. It's just kind of boring. I don't know. When I, wanna, when I think of titan titanium milled clip, I don't think of this. But it functions well. So it's just me nitpicking. And it don't have the best lock access. As you see, it's even. They did chamfer it. And I have no problem uh, disengaging it, but this is the top of knife. If you're fidgeting with it for a while, your thumb will start to hurt. So yeah, I think that's about all my complaints. <laughs> I will try the steel out and let, post a video on that shortly. Didn't even test the edge. Not sharp like a Tucson normally is. 
front part of the blade or the front half of the blades okay the back half needs some work so it looks like I'll be sharpening this one it's out of the normal for Tucson for sure but that's about all I got for this video I'll have it linked down below if I can find one subscribe if you haven't already check out my Instagram it's linked down below usually post knives there first and um, give me a like or comment like and comment see you in the next one